In this video, we want to demonstrate how we can use the clone assembly functionality to duplicate a predefined product structure. Within the clone dialog box on the ownership tab, an opportunity is given to consider a default owner and group for each cloned item. Just enter the Team Center owner ID and the default Team Center group name. You can also define exceptions for parts within the cloning process. As we can see, NX automatically assigned all parts to the engineering user except those we selected to be owned by the project administrator. We can now clone this assembly. Let's now have a deeper look into the complete process of cloning a product structure. Within Team Center, we have defined a common project folder for our organization which contains folders for each of our projects. Therefore, it is easy to find all projects within the organization. Our organization is also using a predefined product structure with approximately 150 items, which we want to clone. We create a new specific project folder within our common project folder. We want the project administrator to be the owner of this folder. The DBA group owns the product structure template. To clone this, we change our current group to DBA. Now let's have a quick look at our project template structure. You can see that this is a collecting assembly, which has sub-assemblies for the different design disciplines of our project. We want to have the collecting assembly and the assemblies for the design disciplines to be owned by project administration. In our example, this affects the items with the last numbers 63 until 71. Now we will initialize the cloning process by starting the assembly cloning dialog in NX. We need to add the assembly of our product structure to clone. In the tab Numbering, we use Numbering Method Auto Generate. As output folder, we select the Team Center created project folder. In ownership, we assign our default owner, which, in this example, should be a user in the engineering group. As exceptions, we select our key assemblies, which should be owned by the project administration. In this example, it is the first eight items. We assign a user from the project administration group as owner of these parts. To assign all of those settings, we first perform a dry run. You can see that there are parts which will be owned by project administration as well as engineering. Naming of all items in our product structure should start with the project number. 
the template parts have a quadruple X as a placeholder. To replace the four X's with our new project number, we save this log file as a text file. We are editing the log file with a text editor, which has a find and replace functionality. We want to replace all the quadruple X's with our new project number 1501. In Annex, before we switch to the Log File tab, we clear all settings in the Clone dialog. Then we use the functionality Load and Apply Log File. We need to ensure that our previously edited log file is saved as .clone data type to be able to select and run this modified log file. NX will load the log file and apply all defined settings as soon as we execute this process. After the cloning process, we can find, within our project folder, our cloned product structure, including the project number in each part name. We can also see that the ownership is assigned as we configured.